Hello world! In today's tutorial, we are going to create a Fetch AI agent. Fetch AI is a decentralized framework for AI agents that can connect, search, and transact with each other. Before we start, I want to emphasize that the purpose of my tutorials is not that you code parallel to me. For this matter, I always upload the full code to my GitHub profile. You can find the link in the description below. Now, let's get to the point. Fetch AI states that it's an open platform for the new AI economy. What does that mean? It's based on blockchain and it has its own token called FET, which is currently in the process of merging with Singularity Net and Ocean Protocol to create the Super Intelligence Alliance. So their three tokens will merge into one token called ASI. This is why they use the terms open or decentralized. Fetch AI core functionality is a framework for creating agents. They believe that in the future, there will be agents interacting with each other. And by doing this, we will reinvent the way we live and work. Enough talking, let's dive into the code. First, install the uAgents Python SDK by running pip install uAgents. Now we will create our first agent. As always, we have imports at the top. Let's create an agent named Alice. The important thing here is that we set the seed to a random string like this. Yours can be different, but it's important that you set the seed and that it's a random string. This is important because setting a seed will fix the agent's address, which means that the agent's address will be identical every time we run it, which is necessary if we want two agents to be able to communicate with each other. Let's move on. Here, we simply define a say hello function, which will be called when we run this code. We want to print a simple message. Let's run the example. See, Alice sent us a message. This is very basic. Let's say we want Alice to send us a message every two seconds. We can achieve this by using an interval method. Before, we used an event method. We can set how frequently we want a message to be sent here. Let's run the example. First stop the previous one. See, Alice is sending us a message every two seconds. Alice, enough. Let's stop the script. Remember that we said addresses are very important for agents to be able to communicate with each other. Let's say we want Alice to send us a message with her address every two seconds. It's very simple. We just retrieve the address from the context. Let's run the example. See, Alice sends us a message with her address every two seconds. What's really important is that the address would stay identical if we would rerun the agent. That's because we set the seed. Let's stop the script. Let's say we want Alice to become stateful. In other words, we want Alice to remember things. There's a possibility for agents to have storage. Here we set the storage for the counter. Every two seconds, Alice will add one to the count and send us a message with the count value. I already ran the example. If you have a good eye, you can see a JSON file here. This file holds the count value when Alice finished counting the last time. As you can see, she stopped at six because I stopped the script at that point. Let's run the example again. See, Alice remembers she stopped at six last time and continues counting from there on. Ta-da, pretty amazing. That's it. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.